I'm grateful, uh, especially being my last year. Still have a chance for a national championship. Um, you can't ask for more. Um, it definitely got on us quicker than normal. Normally we go home, but we understood what we we're trying to do, and just also the approach we took this year as a team has been a little bit different, and I think it will benefit us in the game. Do you feel like it's easier maybe to maintain some offensive rhythm given the last game three weeks ago versus four or five? No, not really. Um, obviously, we finally got that continuity throughout the whole season, but the weeks off, like you mentioned, could be difficult, but I just think it's about how you approach the game. Um, We've been focusing on certain things like loose ends that we could fix as an offense, as a team, as a whole. So I think just focusing on how you can get better during that stretch will translate into the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't really thought about it too much. I'd say if I knew this was my last game, I'd pr probably approach it different. But just having that chance to play another game after this. Uh, I'm more so focused on the task at hand rather than trying to soak it all in. Uh, either Sugar Bowl or the Rose Bowl was pretty fun. Um, those two are probably my top two um, for sure. Um, for different reasons, probably New Orleans for the food. And then Rose Bowl, I'd never been to California before, and the, the weather was so nice out there too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, that's kind of been one of our main points throughout the bowl prep is just starting fast, um, amongst other things. But, yeah, that's kind of been Achilles' heel when we get in these type of games. It's just starting fast and what it takes to start fast, just doing what we do, making routine plays, things like that. What, what does it take? I mean, I think it's hard to probably just come out and decide you're just going to play the best football and that sounds easy. Right. What, what's just focusing on what's made you successful to get you to this point, playing in a playoff game. Um, just making routine plays and not beating yourself or putting yourself behind the chains or little things like that, not getting unnecessary penalties. Just playing clean football, I think that will help get you to start fast. What are some of the challenges you've seen from this LSU defense? Um, they got great personnel. They got good players on that side. Um, they're, they're not, they're not going to just – mess around disguise too much. They're just going to try and beat you man on man, uh, say they're better than you, and they got a lot of good players, so it'll be a good matchup. What do you see for number 24 on LC's defense? He's a freshman. Yeah. Um, got some length to him, a little bit lighter, but, I mean, he's a good player. He's on their team for a reason. Um, uh, he, if he's out there, we're gonna we're just going to play whoever's in front of us. Uh, I was at Cafe Du Monde all the time, those, the beignets, that was, that was my thing. I wasn't too big on the Cajun seafood, even though my last name's Creole. I got a little bit of family down there, but those beignets were my thing up there. Where did you been? Uh, my grandfather, um, even though he's deceased, he grew up in LaBear, Louisiana.